Good morning, world. Hey, I'm in a remote location <laughs> on the Colorado River, and I wanted to talk about preparing yourself to be off-grid and living fancy-free. Um, so you have to have the right equipment, and uh, I've not always made the perfect decisions. <laughs> but here's my tips. Um, make sure your devices can be charged um, with whatever you have. You can get one of those. Uh, I have a jump. I have two jump starters. One of them I bought from Pep Boys. That's the really good one. But it only has one USB thing. So I got another one to charge my USB. Uh, my phone and my laptop. But it turns out it can't charge both of them even on a full charge so uh, make sure you find out which one is the best and then um, you have to be ready for whatever happens you don't know what's gonna happen um, I didn't realize the Colorado River here in Parker was really devoted to boating <laughs> you better be careful when you go swimming because you don't want your head chopped off the better uh, for the boats I'm seeing. Anyway, um, ice. Make sure you've got ice, especially here in the heat. So you pretty much have to get another bag of ice every day. Um, and make sure you have enough to drink, enough to eat. You know, a lot of times if you go out to eat, you're not really certain about how the food was prepared. So bring your own. I've got a little stove. I make uh, dinner on breakfast sometimes. And it works great. Amazon is your friend. Um, so, yeah, the remote locations don't just fall in your lap. You have to prepare for having a fun time off grid. Um, but it is neat because actually my favorite place I've camped so far is Joshua Tree National Park where there was no water, no electricity, no Wi-Fi, no cell phone, no showers. Hmm. Um, but the stars in the sky, wow. And the sunsets, amazing. You start to not think about your devices so much. Anyway, I wanted to leave you with that. What do you do to pre prepare to go off grid? Please ask any questions you want and I'll answer on here. So have a wonderful day.